Well, I'm Mila Nachtman, <laughs> traveling, 71 years old. And I used to travel with the car and hotels, but sometimes I find places very interesting and I couldn't stay because I have another hotel booked. So I come up with this idea for the retirement and I'm very happy about it. So it's so much freedom in it, in my opinion. Yes. You, you can do whatever you want to. You can stay, you can leave, you can do whatever you want to. Are you full-time? I'm mostly on the road now. Oh, that's wonderful. I so enjoy it. Uh, this is Ram Pro Master 2019, 2500 and 159 high. I travel mostly mountains and hiking, so, and this fits in a regular parking spot. It was very important for me to get the trails and stuff like that. I did everything from scratch myself and my son helped me with elect electricity. He did electricity for me because I didn't dare to work on electric behind the walls and stuff like that. I did purchase the stuff but he connected for me. And everything else, what you see here, I built from scratch. How long did it take you to build all of this yourself? This was empty. That was empty. That was cargo van with the metal wall with the little window to look back. So I remove it because I want to use that swivel seat area that makes open. it much open and longer. Well, I was searching many YouTube videos and I'm gifted probably handy. So. Uh, I just search, search and decide what I would like to have. I like open spaces, not crowded too much. This is my son's idea for shower heating. Mm -hmm. Very inexpensive cooler for 11 bucks. Mm. <laughs> Put the heating element here. Oh. Then I just heat it up like 22 minutes, five gallon of water. Then when I stand in it, I put a curtain shower here. The shower over the curtain so and i put the you know uh, put the support under it mm -hmm. so to not you know so perfectly okay so i need this is curtain shower and some toilet paper utility and. sink with a hose on it who'd have thought in a drawer <laughs> just save the money where you can yes. <laughs> everything's so expensive <clears throat> and that works pretty good see it over there Yep, yep, that thing over there. Mm -hmm. So when I turn the electric on, it's 12 volt mm -hmm. and it's heating element, so I don't need, you know, to. I didn't want propane in my in my van, mm -hmm. so uh, we did it that way. But I do have it in the drawer for emergency. I don't use it much, but it's here uh -huh. and toilet and everything actually. So do you have like a bucket? Yes, I purchase bucket, no problem yeah. at all. What do you use <laughs> in your bucket? Uh, pellets. Yeah. Pellets and uh, for cats or for any little animals, mm -hmm. I store it here and it actually smells nice. Mm -hmm. So, but you know, you don't, I don't keep it here. I just, you know throw it out right away. Yeah. Did you already say how long it took you to do this? Four months altogether when I started and and I thought it's a long time and Debbie said oh, that's not a long time. <laughs> From scratch to this scratch. I mean you've got a beautiful ceiling you you probably put the ceiling fan in then. This everything, everything you see here I did it myself. I didn't like the idea with the I like more this kind of fridge like you have at home, mm -hmm. that's a truck fridge, mm -hmm. 12 volt, you can have a 110 plus 12. I didn't want 110 because I don't plan much on camping and hookups. I do have 300 solar, solar panel and if I have 110, I could have a little problem so I just choose 12 volt and then I choose instead of toaster microwave because I pre-cook mostly and then I just heat it up so that is very convenient mm -hmm. for me I have a storage for, for all food you know uh, in here all the way I need 
that this is my pride I did this yeah I love that so much because nothing falling down nothing yes. moving and here is the great tank this is for clothes I just uh, at the shelf for the small thing like gloves um, the bed is full sized so it's very comfortable and I can make a bench out of it open the door and if I have nice oh view. so you you can that can, you can make that into a couch that yeah. faces backwards yes. this is actually a ramp for the lawn mover to go to the truck <laughs> and it goes both way I can enjoy when, whenever I have you, you know, open mm -hmm. the door and just enjoy it and be very comfortable. So you've got storage down that way? And yeah, and it's uh, at the same time, I use it as a step or if I have company oh. in the room, I just put a cushion and we have four seats. Yeah, <laughs> it's a step and a chair yes. and storage. And, uh, <laughs> exactly. Uh, yes. And here... You know, my son come up with that after I finish all things. And I came from one trip and I said, you know, it was raining whole week and I was worried about uh, my batteries. And so I have to take a camp because usually I don't pay for the camp. I'm, you know, I don't need it. And he said, you know, there is a thing you can charge it when you're driving but we cannot go through the wall anymore to hide it. Mm -hmm. But if you want cable and just plug it in. So I said, yeah, that will be awesome. <clears throat> so what we did, he said, but that will be ugly. I said, don't worry, I will come up with something. And hide the cable here. Oh. So it doesn't really, mm -hmm. you know, bother. And when I'm driving, I don't care that I see the cable here. <laughs> You've got it all hidden. That's great. Yeah. yeah, who would think of using that tiny little step right there as storage for your yeah, I cords? extend it a little bit. Oh, just you did? That, yeah, because that was originally up to here. And I extend it. I was thinking, because this is too high, so I made this one for legs when you're sitting. Mm -hmm. It's uncomfortable to have... Have feet down. Feet down. So I make this, and now I'm even cooking on it with the small. If I do little cooking, if I take this out, it gives me more room, and I purchase four-inch mattress, self-inflated, uh, and it comes right here. And if I add it, so it's like a little small bed. So you can put this up <laughs> yes. and use that as yes. part of the bed. Right. To, put to extend it, you know, extend it. Yeah, this would be real handy for lots of things, I'm sure. Yes, huh? it is. Yeah, especially for the feet because I like it. Mm -hmm. And here, actually, is my visa here, and inside is five liters, and I have a gallon for ten liters. So now this is a diesel plenty. heater there. Diesel heater. Diesel heater. It's awesome. I travel mostly in the cold areas mm -hmm. so it just helps uh -huh. really really good <laughs> yes i hear that that is good tell me about that t-shirt you're wearing what does that t-shirt say <laughs> i like that I can't, so i will so inspirational and uh, and stuff like that i almost every my shirt is like that mm -hmm. some somehow <laughs> or believe or breathe or <laughs> yes so you, like that it. makes it look like you were pretty determined to do this. Oh, yes. You know, today I like, who? how I did it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was just, you know, I was so into it, so excited. It was fun. It was like hobby. I really enjoy doing it. It was the process and it was like, whoo, -hoo. <laughs> so happy about it. Mm -hmm. It's so much freedom in it. You can do whatever you want to, how it fits you. I think that may be what all of us, one of the big things that all of us have in common with so many women from so many different backgrounds, so different, oh, yeah. but yet we come together and at the core, there's there's something there. That it's a sense of adventure and freedom, don't you think? Yes, yes. Adventure for that's, sure. You look like me. an adventurous person. <laughs> yes. What kind of places do you hike? My son, we, 
he's adventurous also. He said, Mom, you're really crazy. And I said, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we all have a little of that, too, a little crazy. <laughs> I really do sometimes nice hike. Um, Sedona has a beautiful hikes, all these mountains over there. You, how could you ever see it all? You know, how could you ever no, see it all? No, of course not. And I it's... plan, I plan, you know, at least to see whatever I come up with and then coordinate it to my road to not going, you know, somehow mm -hmm. coordinating and just trying to, you know, safely go still forward and see as much beautiful things as, as possible, know. you know, <laughs> no matter where you go. Every state, every place has something beautiful. To offer you. So, when you took off, and in your experience, do you get scared when you're out here? Were you Never. scared when you took off? Never. I don't expect it, and I don't see it. People ask me, are you scared? I said, no. But I'm very observing, that's true, when I want to stay uh, for the night. Walmart, uh, Cracker Barrels, truck stops, hoo -hoo, no problem. Yeah. Only once I move, because something seems to me suspicious, maybe it was not. And yeah, the people are mostly nice out there. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. I never met, I mean, in all my life somebody really i don't know i just don't attract those kind of people i guess <laughs> i don't know <laughs> maybe it's because you present yourself with confidence yeah <laughs> you do look happy you yes, look very happy i am very happy <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah i just want to go and continue going back and forth back and forth and this is just this is just freedom freedom that's the there is no other word how to describe this mm -hmm. 